All right, we are in section A, lot 75 of Elmwood Cemetery in downtown Detroit. Coming up to the gravesite of one, Louis Cass, born on October 9th of 1782 and dying on June 16th or June Looks like June 16th of 1866. Um, hold on. Alright. So anyways, we're going to go by what, about what I uh, found out. Anyways, he was, a, uh, Lewis Cass was the territorial governor of Michigan. In between the years 1813 and 1831. He was one of the most powerful political figures during the 19th century. He served, he served the, Michigan, the Michigan citizens and residents for more than 50 years. He achieved the rank of Brigadier General during the War of 1812, and due to his associations at, during the war, um, he received the appointment of Territorial Governor of Michigan, of the Michigan Territory from President, then President James Madison. He made several treaties with the Indians which led to the government acquiring most of the Indian lands within the territory. In 1831 he was appointed Secretary of War by Pre then President Andrew Jackson. During this time he was instrumental in Michigan's acceptance into statehood held in all right. He then held the post of U.S. Minister to France from 1836 until 1842. In 1845, he was elected to the U.S. Senate by the Michigan legislator, Legislature and remained in the Senate until 1848 as he ran on a Democratic ticket for the presidency. He, Louis Cass was defeated by the Whig candidate Zachary Taylor. In 1849, he was re-elected to the U.S. Senate in his golden in his golden years, was appointed Secretary of State by James Matt, by James Buchanan in 1851. He resigned three years later when Buchanan failed to send aid to the to the beleaguered garrisons in the forts of Garrett Charleston Harbor in South Carolina during the American Civil War. Um, so that's that. Let's see what else. In April 1861 he made one more he made one of his last public speeches um, in support of President Lincoln's call for over 300,000 U.S. troops to fight the Confederates in uh, Southern Army. He was standing shoulder to so shoulder with, with, with Michigan Republican leader Zachary Chandler, uh, electrify, electrifying his audience as he spoke, almost causing mass riots, from the words he was saying, in the Campish Marchi Martius Park in downtown Detroit, which still is standing, by the way. He died in 1866 at the ripe old age of 84, accomplishing many things in his life um, and serving a lot, a very lot of years, a long time in governmental politics.